Good day. I'm Dr. Zhong Yu Wang, professor in the Department of Engineering at Zhejiang Normal University, China. My research topic is heat effect modeling on the efficiency loss of the lubricating in the face between piston and cylinder in axial piston pumps. Firstly, I would like to talk about my motivations. It is important to start by pointing out that the piston cylinder in the face is one of the three critical friction pairs, which plays an essential role in the APP's lubrication mechanism and the durability conditions. The major causes of the efficiency loss on the piston cylinder block interface in the exit piston pumps are deformation, which includes the hydrodynamic and thermoelastic deformation, leakage flow and friction forces. The leakage and friction forces are the direct source of the total power loss on the piston cylinder in the phases. It's very important to study the effects of the heat on the interface of piston cylinder to predict and evaluate the efficiency loss because the heat exchange is a direct cause of the decrease of lubricant viscosity and the decrease in viscosity leads to the solid solid contact and the decrease in viscosity increase the leakage flow. This research helps us understanding the mechanism of lubrication in presence of a heat exchange and help predicting the necessary boundary conditions and operational conditions and proposing better designs for some specific working conditions. Next, I will talk about objectives of this work. This research investigates the thermoelastic hydrodynamic lubrication performance of the piston cylinder in the face. On the various operation conditions, the pressure distribution, film thickness, temperature leakage, and friction losses are well discussed in the film gap between the piston and the cylinder. The thermal hydrodynamic deformation and third motors are compared for the lubricant properties and the thermal effects on the lubrication mechanism and efficiency loss are investigated. The simple process of this work begins firstly with the deformation of the calculation domain, the use of the appropriate mathematical models then the aspect of numeric calculation and simulation. We are presenting here some of the essential mathematical models used in this work. The oil film thickness equation, which serves to calculate the separating field film thickness between piston and cylinder. The Reynolds equation used for calculating the hydrodynamic pressure distribution on the piston cylinder in the face. Energy equation. The thermal motor is a critical part of the lubrication mechanism of APP since the heat deforms the interfaces and decreases lubricant viscosity. Here, the energy equation is considered in the non isosome fluid flow numeric model for predicting the temperature distribution in the field in the fluid film within the gap. Between the piston and the cylinder block, the viscous friction forces change dynamically during the revolution of the shaft due to the APP kinematics and oscillating load conditions. The volumetric loss, one of the direct power losses on the piston cylinder interface is derived from the velocity distribution integration. Finally, the thermal motor is a critical part of the lubrication mechanism.
app since the heat for deforms the interfaces and decreases lubricant viscosity. Here we presented the solution scheme of this simulation model. The parameters for so are solved at a discrete intervals corresponding to a progressive increase in shaft rotation and different node conditions. The fluid properties, including viscosity, density, and the surface elastic deformation due to the dynamic pressure field, are updated at each iteration. The real loss and energy questions are solved on a finite volume discretized domain. The most inner loop helps in solving the non isothermal fluid film flow equations. The fluid properties, including viscosity density and the surface elastic deformation due to the dynamic pressure field, are updated at each iteration. The solid body deformation and temperature are calculated using the tenhedron ten finite mesh element analysis. This part contains information on the properties of the solids, piston and cylinder, and the lubricant used for numeric calculations and simulations. The initial conditions and parameters for simulation are listed in these three tables respectively. Table 1 shows the dimensions of the piston and cylinder. Table 2 contains the mechanical properties of the piston and the cylinder. And finally, Table 3 shows the properties and characteristics of the viscous liquid used as lubricant. This figure compares the oil film thickness and the pressure film distribution calculated by THD and TEHD. Due to the external node on the piston, the variation amplitude of the film thickness decreases significantly with increasing node pressure. Furthermore, the hydrodynamic pressure effect causes visible elastic deformation of the piston surface. The piston body deformation plays a significant role in the mechanism and lubrication process of the piston cylinder interface, especially in terms of the maximum fluid thicknesses. The applied external pressure Highly influences the deformation. Here is compared the oil film thickness and the pressure film distribution calculated by THD and TEHD. Due to the external node on the piston, the variation amplitude of the film thickness decreases significantly with increasing node pressure. The maximum dynamic film thickness increases by 5 micrometers, that's 4%, which the oil pressure increases by 5 megapascal, and the door deformation is considered. The oil temperature is chosen and compared with other published works to validate our model. We use the similar operating parameters and boundary conditions to simulate the temperature distribution and compare it with the experiment performed by Perusi and Monica Ivantichlova in Purdue University. The figure at the left, that figure A, presents a simulated business in the interface, and the one at the right side depicts the measurement result carried out. These results show that the model could describe the oil temperature behavior and distribution very well. Having a mean, look, look to the impact of temperature on the friction force, as we can see, figure A shows three different values of viscosity with a fixed shaft speed of 2000 RPM. Figure fig B 
depicts three different values of shaft speed with a fixed load of 30 megapascal. Figure C presents three different values of loads with a fixed shaft speed of 1200 RPM. Figure A proves that the increase of initial oil temperature from 20 to 80 centigrade increases the maximum oil axial friction force from 20 newton to 45 newton. And if the initial oil temperature changes from 20 to 1000 centigrade, the maximum axial friction force increases by 44 newton. Similar remarks can be made on the leakage floor. One more remarkable thing is that the leakage floor varies proportional with pressure in the suction zone from 0 to 180 degree can reach the difference of about 0 0.7 liter per minute in a maximum value while it remains almost the same in the discharge zone. We also compare the friction, power loss behaviors on the business cylinder interface for three different values of oil temperature, pressure, and gap. We find that as the load increases, the viscous stresses increase, inducing a higher temperature and a lower viscosity, and a higher load causes higher viscous stresses, thus a higher friction loss. Three initial temperatures are chosen to calculate the power loss due to friction, as we can see in Figure B. From the results of this work, some suggestions to improve the APP's design and lifespan can be summarized as follows. First, the use of new materials, noise with a high capacity of absorbing heat and a minor deformation for manufacturing pistons will help to reduce the heat transfer in the pressure line between the piston and cylinder blocks in APP. The consideration of temperature effects in predicting the lubrication mechanism of the piston cylinder interface is more realistic to the normal working condition of the pump. The THD does not only Port the effects of flow or electric deformation, but directly the power of the pump. As a future enhancement, we would like to development of a new mathematical model can be an important point. It will facilitate the calculation of different parameters for more complicated machine design. The second, the development of new materials capable of reducing friction and heat exchange. Development of software for calculating the APM's parameters capable of simulating different parameters involved into the efficiency loss. It will also facilitate the prediction of the machine behavior every single input changes. Okay, that's all for the main contents. And the following several slides shows the references for our work. Okay, thank you.